produced with exclusive support from Illumina. A decade ago, scientists wrote down the three billion letters in an average human genome. Now they're trying to translate those letters into a comprehensive instruction manual for building a person. This book is the result of the draft human genome. It was a great achievement back in 2000, um, but it's just a set of boring letters, A, C, T, and G, and it goes on for a very long time. And what ENCODE is trying to do is, is bring this to life. These letters actually do something. They mean something, and ENCODE is the project that starts to get at this, starts to try and find some understanding uh, for these letters. The aim of the ENCO project is to characterize all functional elements within the human genome. And the consortium considers functional elements in very broad terms. So these include the genes, as we know them, the elements in the genome that encode proteins, but also all transcripts, so all of the RNA that comes off of the genome. And very importantly, the project aims to characterize the regulatory parts of the, the genome. Sometimes there are elements that switch genes on and off. Sometimes there are elements that pack up bits of DNA in appropriate ways. And there are probably things that we have no idea uh, what they're doing, uh, and yet they're doing something important. The ENCODE project has taken five years. Uh, it's involved uh, hundreds of people, 400 on the main paper, many more across the other papers. Uh, and it's generated hundreds of terabytes of raw data. Now, that's uh, a pretty large amount of data but it's actually staggering not only in its size, but its detail. One of the fundamental things about making a, a creature as complicated as us is that we're made of many, many different types of cells. And those different cells use different parts of the genome. And it's always been a bit mysterious, but what is it that switches things on and off? Now, what ENCODE does for 100 odd, 200, 300 different cell types is start to try and understand why is it your liver cell is different from your kidney cell. And so uh, it's really a first view of that complexity um, that generates a human being. So a striking overall result that the ENCO project reports is that they can assign a function, a biochemical function, to 80% of the human genome. The reason why this is striking is because not such a long time ago we still considered that vast proportion of the human genome was simply junk because of course we know that it's only 3% that encodes proteins. It's very hard to get over the density of information. I think previously people thought that the, the, the genome was quite a well-organized place with these, uh, these genes that had um, kind of discrete places and a, and a discrete, quite sedate choreography. Um, but that's just not what the data says. The data, it's like a jungle of, uh, of stuff out there. There are things that we, we thought we understood, and yet it's much, much more complex. And then places of the genome that we thought were completely silent, and they're teeming with life, they're teeming with things going on. We still really don't understand that. But there's this big shift towards, uh, towards this detail and scale. Human genetics has told us quite a bit about where areas, which areas of the genome are associated with human disease. The frustration has been that most of these areas fall in non-coding parts of the genome. These are parts of the genome which we knew until now very little about. And this is exactly where the ENCODE project comes in. You can now work from the ENCODE starting point and ask much more focused questions on precisely why is it that uh, this particular set of genes seem to do something in the liver, uh, what is switching it on and switching it off. And in particular when it comes to disease, you may in fact not know the cell type that you are interested in. And ENCODE lets you find the cell type that is more associated with your disease. Produced with exclusive support from Illumina.